We're on right now. <laughs> what is up? What is up? Hi. Oh, we didn't play our little bumper, our little music? I did. Oh, I did. Well, you guys are... <laughs> Brian, get on the mic because you're so good. We have a new producer. His name is Brian. I love his hat. Thank you. I know. It says director on it because he wants to be a director when he grows up. I would see one of your movies. Appreciate it. Not out yet, but I'll let you know when. Are you going to write your own movie? We'll see. Some directors write their own movies. Yeah. A lot of just get hired to write other people's scripts. So the lucky ones get to write their own stuff. By the way, this is Laura Kane After Dark you're listening to. Oh, I'm, yeah. Hi. That's Brian. I'm Laura. This is Eric. Hi. I think Amber Heard is looking for a job now. Oh, my. Okay. We're going to get to all of that. Oh, yeah. Eric has a very special Thursday edition, Wednesday edition of <laughs> Double D. Because we're going to talk all about the trial because it ended today, right? It ended today. Yes. Or the, the along verdict with, was Along today. with her career. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Let's do our sponsors, our great sponsors. They're going to be with us through the summer. We love you. Oh, yes. Wives. We're going to go to dinner with Elisa and her hubby. Cannot it's going to be wait. so fun. And Barry, by the way. Yes. You spell it B-A-R-R-I-E. She's a girl, Barry. Barry's right. here. So here we go with our sponsors. Are you looking for a new hairdresser? Well, good. Barry's hair joins the podcast. She's been doing my hair for years. Barry is an artist who specializes in shortcuts, amazing color, updos, braids, weddings, and she makes house calls for those special occasions. Find Barry's hair on Facebook and Instagram. Mention the podcast. You'll get 15% off your services. New sponsor on the podcast is Sweetums Wipes, the intimate wipes with flavor. Cinnabon, pina colada, and mango, just to name a few. Perfect for a daily refresh or for spicing things up. Dr. Elisa invented these, and they are pH-balanced and non-sticky. Get Sweetums Wipes on Amazon or at SweetumsWipes.com. You're breathing all heavy into the Oh, my mic. gosh. I my love allergies are so bad what today. Is, what are you allergic to? I don't know. Brian, are we uh, recording on uh, the, the video? Mm-hmm. for? Oh. Look at that. What? You, will you give me credit for finding someone so amazing? I do. Thank you. Yeah. You know how much he costs to get to hire? I just realized when I got the statement. You know how much it is to post a job on Indeed.com? You know, I have a pending fee of $250. I guess like every resume you click on is money. <laughs> cost you money. So like I've just been clicking on resumes just looking at different oh, people. Oh, great. What the heck? I'll give you some money. Thank you. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping you'd say that. So, Brian, do you want the job? I will strive to be worth every penny. <laughs> oh, oh my God, God. I love it. Every penny of this. Because Brian and I can talk about movies until the cows come That's home. true. Well, thank you. Oh, welcome to the show. Glad to be here. Oh, that's awesome. I can't hear you, Brian. Let's see. Just bear with oh. us. Oh, can you hear him now? Hear me now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Glorious. There we go. That's fantastic. All right. So let's start off with my host chats. I have something that I'm doing. It is a summer of do-it-yourself. Uh-huh. For example, I just bought on Amazon. I got an Amazon gift card from my roommate, Elena. Mm-hmm. And I bought an at-home microderm abrasion machine. You know those great microderm, they like peel off the mm-hmm. first layer of skin and your skin looks like a baby's butt? Well, if I come over and you look like do- <laughs> you were in a fire, then I'll know that it didn't oh, work so well. It has even suctions that suction out the blackheads and stuff like that. I'll, I'll do a facial for you. Would you? Yes. So okay. I got that going on, which I haven't opened up yet. I opened it up, but I haven't put it together yet. I haven't had time to like sit down and like scrape my face off. Then it cost me like ninety dollars to get that little animal of mine groomed and washed every what two months, six weeks. I'm like, I'm over it. It's too much. So I bought an at home. Oh God. <laughs> dog clipper set. You are gonna mess him up. <laughs> but it has like different little like sizes that you can choose. Your dog is going to look like Mr. T. (laughs) He's a mess right now. He He has dreadlocks. He's like, you should probably let me do it. Will you help me? Like, obviously I have to do it outside, but, and I have to like, I will help you. But if anything goes wrong, don't blame me for it. Will you be allergic to his hair? No. Okay. So I do need help with that and I need help soon. Okay. You want to do it after this in the dark? No, not in the dark. Okay, let's not. Oh, my God. 
Oh, yeah, what else? So I did that, and then I did that, and I haven't opened those up yet, or done them yet, but I, you know how I love my hair extensions? I, I do. Okay. I bought hair on Shein. I'm not joking. <laughs> it, it, it is, I got it. It was does it look very like, decent. Does it look like pubic hair? Well, look at it. Look at it. I oh. put some in the front, just uh-huh. in the front. I kind of like angled my hair. I put them in myself. They're tapins. I'm doing my own hair now. <laughs> wow, you really are. You are a master at I everything. Know. I know. You said Sheen. I wasn't expecting much, but I couldn't tell. You know what? I, yeah. I thought, why not? For the money, let's just try it. It was. 40 bucks, I think, and you get, you don't get enough to cover your whole head. Oh God, wait a minute. It was 40 bucks for hair on Shein? Yes. You could have probably bought half the store for $40. I know, but hair in real life is like $250 if you were to buy a pack. I mean, it was a small pack. Again, you can't fit your whole head, but if you want to put some pieces in the front, 40 bucks, it's real Brian, hair. I have to show Brian. Oh, because at don't. Least the, oh, yeah. Wait till I show you, Brian. The last time Laura had. It was really bad. I put on a halo. It's like a. Oh. It's a, a wire, like a fishing line, and then hair hangs from it. You put it on your scalp, and it like makes you like have beautiful, luxurious long hair, and you're not supposed to know. But I kind of have like shoulder length hair, and yeah, find that. That would be great to show him. It's. It's. Here, show them too. Oh my gosh. It's horrible. So. Um, I thought, why not? And I'm done. I haven't had extensions in for a while, but I was getting tired of trying to grow out the front pieces of my hair because they're so frail because I bleach my hair. So I have to make a disclaimer to Alfie here pretty soon. Like, I have to tell him, hey, by the way... This was her attempt. (laughs) Here, let me see if you can see that's my attempt. Isn't that tragic? That's the most tragic thing to show them, too. It was the... Best thing it, ever. Thank God I didn't go out and oh, see and anybody. Then, and then when she flipped her hair, there was that little tail in the back. Remember that? Oh, God. That was one that, early piece. I'm telling you, that that makes life worth living. When we get up and we're done with this, will you look at my hair thoroughly and let yes. me know if it's tragic or not? Mm-hmm. Okay. But I think I did a pretty good job. I, I think you did do a good job. I'm like, you know, I'm still going to Barry because I'm not doing my own color. Oh, Are please don't. Me? Let Barry do it. Yeah, for sure. But you know what? Stick a couple tape ins. But I have to give Alfie the disclaimer. You can pet me, and that's sweet. You can touch my face. I love it. But don't stick your fingers through the front part of my hair because they're going to get caught on tape. So I know. I know. I want him to know before he actually does it, so he doesn't go, "Whoa, what was that?" Can he grab it like a like horse reins? And, yes. Oh, okay. It's in there pretty good. Okay. Pretty I, darn good. You know, because maybe stroking it, but grabbing it and pulling it is That's fine. a whole other thing. That's all good. Oh, all right. I have to tell you a story real quick about when Alfie So we both like to have our hair pulled. No. <laughs> Your hair pulled? Am I missing something? <laughs> Brian got it. it what are you talking about? Pulled, I mean, hey, you could try. Huh? You like having your hair pulled? <laughs> I'm kidding. Was that funny? I thought it was hilarious. Anyway. <laughs> Some we were, people watching might get it. We were at dinner at True Foods. <laughs> and I asked him, I said, hey, can you teach me how to make a nutritious chicken dinner with vegetables that taste good, that Evan will like? Because I want something that I can make quick and easy for school night. And then I realized, wait a minute. I don't have any more school nights, ever. I start crying because Evan's graduating this Saturday. And Charlie's gone. I have no one to make dinner for. I have no children. You can make me dinner. I act like a child. (laughs) I have no nightly children. It's going to be the saddest thing in the world. Listen, I bother you like a child, so I can just continue it. You won't be around enough for me to be satisfied. Oh, I can be. Trust me. Anyway, I haven't eaten. Can you make me something tonight? I can microwave you something. Mom! <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Yes, that's see, good. That's see good. how annoying I can be? There we go. <laughs> Eric likes his balls pulled. Oh, Margaret! What? Oh! Margaret! Thanks, Margaret. Oh, my God. <laughs> Get your balls 
come over, over here, by the way. Oh, Margaret, come over. Come over. Right come now. Come hang with us. Come she over. Like, lives down the street. She does. Come over right now, Margaret. So Front anyway. Doors. The turnstile's open. That's that's what's going on with me. I'll let you know how the dog grooming goes. And I'll let you, you'll see how my microderm abrasion goes. Good. If you'll you don't see. if you don't look like a burn victim, then I'm in. It's gonna be hopefully I mean it's from China. They're, everything is from China. I mean the little girl in the in the pamphlet, she's the Asian, so they everything is from China, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Everything I buy is from China. I love it. I've never noticed someone from China with hair extensions, so maybe they do a really good job. No, that's where the hair comes from. Usually. Or Russia. Or I miss you, Margaret. India. Or various places. I hope it's synthetic. No, it's real. You gotta have real. Highland of Pharaoh. <laughs> What's up, Debbie? Don't, don't do it. Don't do what? Don't do what? There's many things this could apply to. Oh, Deborah, I don't. What? What, what should she not do? do? Groom her own dog. Thank you, Margaret. Uh, yeah, I know, right? Groom my own dog. Okay, so that's me. That's what's going on. What's going on with you, Eric's host, Jack? I'm, what's happening? I'm just uh, consumed by all the people talking. I know, to but us. we gotta remember that people that's Hi, also buddy. listening. What? They're also listening. Yes. Yeah, sorry. And they don't wow. have the video. They're not on Instagram right now, so we have to pay attention to them. I have yet another... And YouTube. I have yet another uh, spider story. I don't know what... You're going to exaggerate, and you're going to say that it was this big! It was this big! Well, it was a daddy long legs. Those are so... Daddy long legs are sweet. They don't do no, bad things. No, no. They, they eat, deserve, like, the no, bad things in your house. They deserve a smashing with a shoe. No. Yes. All right, what happened? Well. Where were you? On the toilet. Where are these spiders coming from? You I live, like, on the second floor. The last time it happened, Brian, I was in mid-poop. <laughs> in my house? And one crawled across my foot, and I jumped up and pooped so on my toilet seat. my toilet seat. And I found that out about a week later. <laughs> on the air. That wasn't nice. The one that I, the main one, the one that I yeah. use. Thanks a lot. Anyway, so you were on, you were on the toilet again and you saw a spider. And I where spent was a it? a lot of time there. Where was it? Was it crawling across the floor? Was it on across the Across my foot again. Across your foot. So and at first I didn't, because they're almost transparent. God is telling you something. I don't know what. He's telling you to be nice to the creatures. Not spiders. <laughs> God and I have an, an understanding. <laughs> Uh, that's like an Ooh, ex- Deborah says spiders mean that you're going to come into money. Oh, that's awesome. Is it true? Is that true, Deborah? I mean, because well, maybe I. Sh- has it been happening? Have you been coming into money a little bit? Because, yes. Well, then look. If you kill the spiders, though, is that like bad luck? I don't kill. Oh, oh yeah, point. I have killed them. That's a good point. Then boom. I didn't kill the two in the. The money's gone. Bathroom because. Uh, Why? I was. I just got out of there. You pulled up your pants and got out of there. And ran out. <laughs> it is interesting that it happens primarily on the toilet, though, while you're, like, a, yeah. and, you know. That's where yeah. he spends, like he said, most of his time. Maybe, maybe there's a connection between the spiders it's, and money in the bathroom. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to be able to see my out? spine from the front. I keep telling you. You know what? what? You are carrying those spiders in. I'm not. Your body no, somehow. no, I'm not. Don't. You shut up, Kane. You come no. to in on the nope. back of your jacket nope, or something. No, they're not. Don't. <laughs> no, don't say that. How else? I don't know, but that's going to freak me out. If I ever find one on me. Oh, my God. Oh, you will it. have, there's your heart attack. Be careful. I took, Take, my, I took my blood pressure pill this morning. Go? Oh, how, okay. Only, have you taken it now two days? Or just, just one. one. Any different feelings? No. Okay, good. But did you take your uh, blood pressure? Not today. Do you have a thing with you? <laughs> no. Darn it. I was going to say we should do it on the air. Oh, wouldn't that be a fun thing? <laughs> yes. To see if it's actually working. <laughs> to see if I'm at stroke level. Oh, my God. Yeah. Don't say that. <laughs> anyway, so you saw a spider. You ran out. You're a baby. Yeah. You're a bubble-blowing baby. What? A bubble-blowing baby. So, yes. Oh, I'm really excited, though, to know about this whole Johnny Depp thing. Oh, Let's man. do Eric's Double D Special Edition <laughs> Thursday Edition. Because we need to talk about what happened. I know nothing. All I heard is that the verdict came in. The verdict came in today at 1. Okay. Have you 
No, don't read that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret, you're naughty. Margaret? You are naughty. And the answer is no. Okay, go. Oh, are we ready? Yes. So that... that you just <laughs> oh, stepped on the dog. my God, did I? No, I didn't, because my feet are on the thing. Okay. I think I scared him. Okay. Um, the judge awarded today in Johnny Depp's favor. Good! For the most part. Like, 98.2%. Is that what everybody was thinking it was going to go toward Johnny? Yeah, she looked terrible on she the She did. Stand. I mean, like, I didn't watch one bit of it, but I just saw, like, some, some clips where she just looked terrible. So... There Crocodile was seven, tears and everything. Yeah, there were seven jurors, and they ruled that Amber Heard defamed him. Good. In that article that she wrote. So he in got, Vanity Fair. The one in Vanity Fair? Yes. Okay. So he got $15 million and then it was kind of reduced to ten, and then he got 350000 because in Virginia, the law, you can only, it's only a certain amount. So he got $10 million plus 350000 She got... Two million because his attorney. Why'd she get money? Because his attorney defamed her. Saying okay. something I can't remember. Do you remember what it was? They said a lot of things and none of them were complimentary, so it could have been any number of things. Yeah. They slipped on one aspect where you know they said something that wasn't true, but presented it in an oral argument that could they could rule that as def like defamation. So yeah. So she got two million. So did the got... judge like later? Did the judge just decide that they were defamed, <laughs> or did what did the courtroom did it go on to say hey by the way you're defaming my client so mid mid trial yeah somewhere in the process <coughs> after which week uh amber's legal team then filed a counter lawsuit um for defamation as well and in closing arguments from the last week johnny's yeah. team tried to have it dismissed but they couldn't have it dismissed i mean it's pretty routine just to try to have everything against you dismissed right um but the judge ruled that it was you know they could go they could actually rule on it and then they voted on one count that Deb's team was liable for defamation of some sort. Yeah. Is this going to make Amber Heard more famous no. or not? It's going to make You know, make sometimes her... it works that way. From the response I've seen, she's at pretty much rock bottom yeah. right now. I don't, she has I don't think she'll not... ever recover. Did you watch it? What was her reaction? She was extremely disappointed. And she said it was a mistrial, and they're going to appeal, which I knew oh, she would do. Oh, yeah. come get over. It's done. I know. It's done. It's done. Oh my God! It doesn't hurt to appeal. I mean, they're not. It's not going to like not going to redo the trial again. But it just means a new judge will look at it, and he'll probably go, "Yep, looks like the ruling." Do they have to fair. do the whole jury thing again? No, or? The, no. a new okay. judge just comes in and looks okay. at everything that was presented. Yeah. So, and her public credibility has already been kind of ruined at this point. So yeah. her career is probably, if not over, it's going to be a while before she is in any big roles. Besides her current contract to like Aquaman, and I think that's the only thing she's in right now. And she was cut out of. A Most lot of it, of it. yeah. yeah. I she think was cut a, out on a lot of she, They said, yeah, I think during the trial they said she was reduced to like 10 minutes of screen time or something like that. So she was significant. She was a main character yeah. too, so that is that's significant. Terrible. Yeah. That's terrible. That is a, very significant. That's I a bet, lot of work for I bet she could be too. on a Lifetime Network movie. <laughs> porn. <laughs> porn. That's what I said, porn. Porn. I don't even think Hallmark would hire her at this point. Cameo? She's got the perfect cameos? name, Amber. Like, she does. Yeah. She has a stripper name or a porno name. <laughs> oh, totally. Stripping? I don't know. Maybe she'll become a housewife. Maybe she'll... Oh, speaking of the housewives. Oh, what's going on? Are you talking about Beverly Hills? Uh-huh. It's on tonight. It was, oh, is it on Wednesday nights? Okay. Yes. Um. It's already... It's only... This, it'll be the third episode tonight, and it's already so I delicious, can't. I can't even... Watch that Hamlet. woman Sutton. Why is she even on there? She drives me crazy. <clears throat> She's not um, entertaining to me. No, so so you She's know snooty. Are you? Do you watch it? Unfortunately, not. of course he doesn't. Wait, which show? Housewives. The Beverly Hills Housewives. Beverly Hills. Hills. Yeah. No, no. Oh, so Dorit <laughs> is this? Dorit. Oh, Dorit. Oh, Dorit. Oh, I thought you were talking about Dorinda. Dorinda's a, no. from New York. Yeah, but Dorit got robbed while her husband PK was in on tour with Boy George or something, I don't know. And the and kids were home. Kids were home. They, were they had just come back from London or something and she got she got robbed. And why do you say this? Because there's a lot of people that don't that they, they think it was staged. Is she that good of an actress though to cry those like 
so I so sorrowful to I don't think so. I think it was that bling ring or whatever that oh, gets everybody yeah. in L.A. Well, yeah, um, they show their wealth every week on but TV. But when they talked to Sutton about it, Sutton was like, well, I'm very busy, and I didn't have a gun pointed at my head. And... Up. Oh. What that, was she refer? I mean, like, what was she asked? I was very something busy about that. you haven't reached out to her. Oh. And then um, last week, she said, "Well, when I was fourteen, we had a home invasion, and they're like, it's not about you, and exactly. you were fourteen, and you didn't have somebody like, you know, tell you that they were going to kill you or whatever." And then she's like, well, my dad blew his brains out. And they're oh, like, it's, so what? It's not about you. Like, I mean, sorry, chair. but yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Oh, it's going to be so good tonight. Didn't you say Kyle is leaving? Or yeah, like that's the rumor. Or Kyle is that, or something? Yeah, is that she might. And is Lisa Renna in the news? Is it, there's something going on with her? She is fighting with... Um, one she's of the fighting with one of the housewives, yeah. It, oh, Kathy it. Hilton. Oh. Yeah. I don't think you want to fight with Kathy Hilton. She'll cut you, I'm sure. Do you want to see Eric's hairy chest? Who? Somebody wanted to see your hairy chest. Is Eric showing his hairy chest? Yes. There we go. Look at that. That yeah. is a fluff of hair right there. Thank you. Just, no, you two people can see it too. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, did you hear about Matthew Morrison? No, from Glee? Yes, he got a job as judge on So You Think You Can Dance? And he got fired. Wait, how did I not know about this? Okay, this is like new because the show hasn't started yet. Here, I'll read you the story that I, I saw. Oh my gosh. Uh, so, a source complains that he was inappropriately messaging a female contestant. They didn't have sex, but he reached out to her through flirty direct messages on social media and she felt uncomfortable with his line of comments and went to producers and then got Fox involved and then he was fired after they did an investigation. What are you doing? Oh Don't my do God, that. What a dummy. Yes. Think with your other head, mister. Oh. We don't know who the contestant was. Several episodes have already been taped. He's going to appear in the show for a few weeks and then he's going to be gone. <laughs> oh, well, why he's going to be bother? replaced. Yeah. So, um, I have some rando news. You want to hear some rando news? Yes. Okay, that's just random stories that I have come across that I think you'll appreciate. Or want to comment on. You smell good. What is Someone that? smells really good. What is that my, um, I think it's my, my scent oh, diffuser thing. Oh, it smells really good. You know what I bought on Amazon? I bought, I, I remember the smell of the Ritz in Paris. <laughs> and I loved it so much. I looked for that smell. And they have it on Amazon. So I bought like a little dropper full. That's what the Ritz Oh, it smells like. so good. I'm fancy like that. You really are. I was with a friend once. We walked into the Hotel Dell. And she immediately goes, oh, that's Chanel number one. And like yeah. instantly. And you know, for sure enough, it smelled just like it. Which, well, I don't know how they do that. But. I think, well... Eric works in an air, in a place that has those big scent diffusers. So mm -hmm. when you walk into a building and it smells amazing, they have like cartridges. Like some have a real big machine, mm -hmm. so the whole place smells. You know, when you walk into the West Inn, it smells a certain way. Or when you walk into yeah. a Residence Inn or the Intercontinental or whatever, they all have their own scents. Or any place in Vegas, they all have like a certain scent. Anyway, dad bods. They're still in this summer. They're very trendy. As a matter of fact, 70% of women prefer dad bods. Would now, you prefer my physique if I had a dad bod? Let's see. I think it, no, no, no. I think it goes more, it's more than just the look. I think it's more of like, you're more relatable or gettable. I don't know. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like when you have a dad, if you're all you know, yoked out. Is that what you're saying? Yoked? I think it's the, like, approachability. Almost. Yeah, approachable. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it makes you more, um, if you're a woman and you're for the guy that has is totally cut and just huge, then you're going to feel self-conscious. So I think women like a dad bod just makes it feel more comfortable. That's what I think. I don't know. 30% of guys, no, 49% of guys say they like having a dad bod. Wow, that's a huge number. I know. What's the criteria for a dad bod, though? Because there's a there's obviously yeah. super ripped, and then there's that kind of just not, like, just skinny. And what's, like, where's the line draw for what's between, like, dad bod and then, you know, I don't know. Dad bod, I think, has a little bit of 
little tiny bit of chubbiness maybe, like in the belly, maybe not super defined arms, maybe um, like a little bit of love handle action. Not a whole lot. I think it would be so exhausting to be super huge and ripped and... Yeah. I think that would be exhausting. You have to live it. <laughs> I mean, that is your life. That you be, you work out every day. I mean, you have a good body, but you well, work I, on it. Yeah, but I, you know. You're not going to work any harder to get, like, no. totally jacked. No, no, that's just exhausting. I don't have time. Yeah. But you have a great, you have no, you're not, you don't have a dad bod. No, but if, who, if somebody did, I wouldn't begrudge them no, for it. No, of course not. Of course not. But now what women are saying that they prefer it. Well, then. All right, here's this. If you asked a guy who dates a much younger woman why he does it, he says, she's hot, right? Or he'd be lying. But maybe that's not the case for women who date younger men. A dating site called Cougar Life, <laughs> God. and no, I was never on that, polled its members and asked them to name the top benefits of dating a guy who's 10 years or more younger than them. This applies. The most popular answer was that guys seem to be more open-minded. That's what women like about younger guys. They're more open-minded. Physical attractiveness ranked second. And having a free spirit ranked third. I don't know. What do you think? I don't think that's a bad thing. No. I think... No. And age is just a number, so who cares? I hate that I saying. Mean, I, well, I can't. What, age is just a number? Yes. But it's true. Like, if you saw a super old guy with a really young woman, they're like, she's a gold digger. Yes. Right? Yes. But if you see a, a much older woman with a young guy... Could be a gold digger, too. Maybe. What's the guy... What is the appeal for a guy, then? Just because she know a woman knows what she's doing, a woman Probably. is more a confident. I'm hot. I'm taking this off, by the way. Speaking oh, here they come. Of, here they stop come. It, stop it. I'm like boiling right bum, now. Bum, bum, stop it. <coughs> Dark trying to contain and myself. Sneakers make up a dad butt also. So, um, <laughs> they also asked the guys, what is the benefits of dating a cougar? And the top three <coughs> answers were they're more emotionally secure, right? Mm -hmm. so they're not all drama, drama, drama. Mm -hmm. Right. They tend to have more financial freedom, so there's a little bit of sugar mama going on. Mm -hmm. And they're more successful at work. Again, money. Hmm. True. So I think confidence is a big one. I think it's like the for the guys who want the opposite of someone who relies on them. So like for guys that don't want to support somebody, they go to the opposite end where they go with someone who can support themselves mm -hmm. and they can almost just have like a mutually beneficial relationship yeah. rather than like a one that they rely on each other or one another. How old are you? Twenty one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right. Wait, hold Would on. Would you date hold let's wait, see, let's see. Stop stop the presses. No, this is awesome. Wait, my brain is trying to wrap around the fact that I'm old enough to be his grandfather. He's older than Char he's younger than Charlie. Oh god. You could be my son. You are my son. Oh my god. My Brian, son. Brian is our son. He's our, he's our son. He's our son. Oh, I'm Brian. So proud of you. We are so proud of you. You want to be a director? You're going to be so good at it. You're a good oh, boy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Your mother and I are very proud of you. So proud of you. <laughs> um, okay. So, would you consider dating a woman who's 42? 42. Probably not. Why? Just because, I guess, long term for myself, I am interested in, like, having a family and, like, growing old Good with point. someone. Um, if I wasn't interested in you that... You could though, grow old with her. You just have to wheel her around. <laughs> like, I'm going to have to do a thing. I think she would grow old before I would. But if I wasn't, like, interested in that, then, yeah, that would, like, that would make sense. Like, right. You, you know, have to I, take in kids or take one. Yeah. yeah. If I didn't want kids or anything like that, then, yeah, that would make more sense. What about a 32-year-old? Yes. At the, or at right now, would you be dating a 32-year-old? Sure. What do you think? It's Don't like answer a, for it now. It's in like a real gray area. Yeah. It's still youngish. Mm -hmm. that's, still, that's still young. Mm -hmm. But like a lot of people who are already 30 who, like, let's say, aren't married, don't have kids, probably they have less chance of wanting that. So I don't know. 
that might be a sweet spot if I didn't want kids. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take our son to a singles bar. <laughs> but don't be, get him hooked up with an older woman because he wants to have our grandbabies. Yeah, that's right. But, <laughs> but I'll, yeah, I'll be a good wingman. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Here, let's show everybody our, our son. Throw thrown out. This is our son right here. Can you see? It's our son, Brian. That's Brian, our son. Wave to the audience, Yes, son. yes, yes. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had no idea what you were getting into, did you? Young he's Brian. like, God. <laughs> oh, my God, he's older. He's younger than Charlie. That I need to take a drink of my Pellegrino. Mm. I'm going to... Well, Brian knows a lot about entertainment. A lot for being 21. He knows a lot about a lot of things. He does. 21. He's very smart. <laughs> we have a we have a brilliant child. I know. I'm very proud of him. I'm yes, sad for him because of the COVID thing kind of racked his or kind mm-hmm. of twisted up his college yeah. career, but he's doing great. You know he what? Maybe, a great job. Maybe you would like to move in with Laura and and annoy her for cooking food for Oh, you. I'll cook you dinner I for do, our school I night. I do love chicken and vegetables. Yeah. See? <laughs> yeah. Or microwave food too. That works fine. Oh, see? You know what you I speak could do? Language. My gosh. Tomorrow or Friday, leave your front door unlocked. I'm going to come over here and get in a diaper and sit on the couch and just scream and cry when you walk in. I don't want that young of a kid in my house. I demand chicken and vegetables. Because that sounds mighty good. Oh, my God. Yes, yes. BG. Alfie and I are still together. He's watching right now, I think. Hi, Alfie. Um, okay, here's another story. Okay. Are you one of those people who cannot watch a movie if you don't have that popcorn? Yes. I'm actually not a big popcorn fan. Oh, I love popcorn. I could eat it. I don't have anything against it, but I just... uh, Movie popcorn always makes me feel kind of bleh afterwards. Like, just gross. But, I don't know. I like it going in. I just don't like it sitting there. Or coming out. (laughs) I didn't say that. The Wall Street Journal reports that the movie theater chains are worried because of supply chain issues with the popcorn shortage. There's this popcorn shortage in the summer. Is there? Yeah, there's going to be. And then movie (coughs) chains are like, oh my God, what are we going to do? An executive from a popcorn supplier says supply will be light, partially because they're having to pay farmers more to keep growing popcorn rather than switching to more lucrative crops like soybeans. So it could really hurt mm. movie theaters, or it could really hurt our pocketbook. Our pocketbook. Soybeans at the movies. That sounds <laughs> that delicious. That sounds amazing. Mm. Really. Not really. Oh, are you watching Stranger Things or no? Do no. you like Stranger I Things? I do, yeah. Well, it's on. The fourth season is now on, and it like blew out every Netflix uh, record there was. Mm-hmm. It's par- It's pretty gnarly. It's like... There are a couple kids who have died, like kids in high school, and the way they died, with the bones cracking, and they're all like twisted up, and they show pictures of it. It's like, wow, I didn't realize this was so harsh. Last minute, they had to add a disclaimer about because of the you know the the story. opening scene. Yeah, it, I mean, it is pretty gruesome. It is that. You know what? If I was the producer, of, I would have waited. I don't know. I don't know because it's gonna upset people. Waiting. Seeing that opening scene is, is is upsetting. The only thing is, the longer you wait, the more interest you lose. Because you have, I mean, you can either wait or you can cut those scenes, and that's like you know, five to ten thousand dollars per scene that you basically are throwing away. And it's a major part of the storyline. Story so I haven't seen it. So is there a school shooting? No, it's uh, where eleven. Remember eleven? The yes. girl with the powers. When she was first in that uh, that building with all the other kids learning um, to like raise things with their oh, fingers yeah. and do you know like kill people with their eyes or whatever spoiler alert by the way well no I'm not am I giving anything away I'm just giving away an opening scene it's very good it's I, you know I won't say anything story. I won't say anything about what happens <laughs> but there are kids that uh, something happens and there's a bunch of kids but they're kids like 11 and and yeah something bad happens oh boy Spoiler alert. Yeah, you know what? It's kind of like integral to the whole entire series. <laughs> Shoot. Well, listen to this. A huge portion of Stranger Things is it takes place in a Russian prison because uh, Hawken, Hawkins? Hopper. Hopper. <laughs> Hopper. I'm not good with names. Our son is so smart. I know. He's, 
We've taught them well. We've put them. I mean, we. That's the way I was raised, for sure. We are. Are money on you're school. welcome. We have been such, <laughs> such present parents. We didn't pay tuition for nothing. Uh, right. Uh -huh. Exactly. Anyway, <laughs> it's in Russia. We're, your mother and I still haven't got that card yet. That thank you card. It's in Lithuania. <laughs> excuse me. This the card. concentration camp. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where a lot of this Stranger Things takes place. Now you can go there on an Airbnb. Oh, wait, wow. Lithuania? In a real oh. life, like, concentration camp. So if you That's can deal awkward. with, right, if you can deal with, uh, <laughs> the Nazis used it. And if you can deal with all that bad juju, then go right ahead. You can stay the yeah, night there. I think I'll pass. I know, right? I'll yeah. pass on that. I'm sure it's, like, super haunted, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, could, that would scar me for life. But, like, that, yeah, so that's truly where they're filming. And a couple of things to look forward to this month, since it's June... Second? Is it June 1st or June 2nd? Is it June 1st? Yes. Do you know you're supposed to say rabbit, rabbit, the very first thing you say on a first day of the month? Why? I don't know. It's lucky. I've I think. never heard that. I've never I found heard that. My friend Tori does that. She'll always post rabbit, rabbit, and you have to say the first thing out of your mouth when you wake up on a first day of the month. What happens if you don't? Is it like the killing the spider situation? <laughs> no, like I, don't think so. or? I think you just, I think it's just a lucky thing. I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> Um, Father's Day is coming up. You have a father, I'm assuming. Right, he's sitting right next to you. Yes. Our father! <laughs> we get to celebrate father. I know. Oh my god, how silly of me, how silly. I would like breakfast in bed. I would like... Don't push it. <laughs> what else? Do you want socks and a tie and a... No, what else do you want? I would like a nice comfy robe. A robe? Really? Do you need a robe? Yes. You do? Like a Hugh Hefner, like smoking Yes, jacket. exactly. Oh, and the silky ones, kind yes. of that thick silky ones. Oh, I like it. Juneteenth is this month. It's Pride Month on the 28th, but we don't celebrate it here till July, right? You wouldn't know. You don't deal with that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, the first day of summer is the 21st of June. Oh. You don't know when Pride is? I mean, like, I think it's in July. Okay. But Pride Month is actually I'll take June. your word for it. Proud every day, you know? My God. Right. It's not going well at all. <laughs> National Best Friends Day is June 8th. Really? Oh, oh, we got to remember that. What are I we going to do you for you? You've got to remember that. Wait. Oh. 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 <laughs> wow. But what, did I, what did I say to you in my card? I know. You said you were, that I was your best friend. Thank you. June 14th is Flag Day. And I'm your um, soulmate. Thank you. Yes. National right. Selfie Day is June 25th. All right. Okay. So those are some random news stories for you. How do you like that? I thought they were fascinating. All right. So okay. rabbit, rabbit, and or white rabbits upon walking on the first day of a month to ensure good luck for the rest of it. Wikipedia. Waking. Thank you so much, Gigi. Waking. Not walking. <laughs> upon waking. You said walking. I did. Yes. <laughs> I can't see very well. Sorry. Say, say goodbye to your mother, Brian. I'm going to... Pride Month started today, something. by the way. Oh, well, okay. Eric, you are not a good representative. Um, okay. I'm, You're not. I'm not. You're not awful. At all. No, I'm not. Do we care about only murders in the building? Oh, I want to watch that show. That The new season starts on June yeah. 28th. Do we care about Westworld still? Yeah, that's a good show. It, it was, was good. good. Game of Thrones, essentially. Yeah. Westworld? I mean, it's HBO Max's biggest flagship series right now after Game of Thrones ended. Mm -hmm. They ran concurrently for a little while. It's awesome. It's so good. It's The first part was really good. You know what? In my other relationship, I got to go on a behind-the-scenes tour of Westworld, and I met Evan Rachel Wood, and I got to meet James uh, Franco. Franco? Or no, the dude that's the dude. Not James Franco. Some other guy. What's his name? James Sheridan. Are you no. thinking of like the dude? Like the dude who's the dude? As in like Big, Great Lebowski? Big Lebowski? No, the Not person who's in Westworld with Evan Rachel Wood. I don't remember. Anyway, that. so I got to meet them and, and they had um, they had dummies on the ground, like dead bodies that are dummies that cost like $15,000 each. They're so realistic. I'm like, hmm. why don't you have extras laid down on the, on the ground? But they wanted to just look... They don't want anybody breathing, I guess. People get tired of lying down. Yeah. With their face in, like, the dirt. <laughs> right. Yeah, and you can just kick these. They're, like, heavy if you, like, really treat them very special because they're so expensive. I fall asleep on the floor all the time. I could have done that. <laughs> for far less.
Yes. Uh, MTV Movie and TV Awards, they're on this Sunday. Do you care about that? Mm. Do you care about MTV, son? <laughs> I, mean, I don't think I've ever watched MTV. Really? I think the only time I've watched MTV is when I first saw Girls Just Want to Have Fun, and the whole premise of that show revolves around being on MTV. So that's probably the only oh, yeah. time I've secondhandedly watched that show. I don't remember that show. Girls Just Want with uh, Sarah Michelle. Oh, you mean the movie? Yeah. Oh, oh I thought you remember the series. Or the, like the, the movie. I thought you were talking about Cindy Lauper. On MTV. I see. Was during the song from Cindy Lauper. Oh yeah, remember that song "She Bop"? Yes. By Cindy Lauper. Yes. Ew. And remember what it was about? Oh, it was about masturbation. Like playing with the little man on the boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can say stuff like that on Instagram or on I, YouTube. I said playing with the little man on the boat. I know, but I could have been talking that. about anything. Do we care about that Tony Award? No. Seventy-fifth annual on the twelfth. No. Who cares? Oh, I want to see Jet Jurassic World Dominion. I know! Alfie and I do too. Okay, we're going. When we saw Top Gun, they played a trailer for that. And no. do you remember seeing. I mean, you. No. When was the first one that came out? Was it over 20 years ago? It came out in yes. 1980. Oh, God. Um, no. I think so. Uh, go check it. I think it was after okay. that. A so little it bit. was way before I our son was born. <laughs> seeing that and going, this is. Unbelievable! I've never seen anything like this in my uh, life. Look at those dinosaurs! They are alive. Steven Spielberg. Oh God, it was amazing. So does he do this one too? Is he doing all? Has he done all I don't of them? I think he's involved. Uh, in all I, I, oh, okay. He's involved in this one. God, that first one, and then the music that goes along wait with it. To see it. I we can't wait either. I was on go? 93. Thank you. Oh it's so God. great. I assume they came out in the eighties because that's like the golden age of classic cinema at this point. It was still made True. before you were born. <laughs> Oh my God! Just <laughs> shoot me now. I know. Think about Punch twenty-one years face. ago. Like we all, we've almost been friends twenty-one years. I know. Oh my God. We've been friends what seventeen? Yeah. This is really we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> and you keep getting younger, and I keep getting older. No. When, when is your when is your consultation? I think next week. At La Jolla Cosmetic. Uh -huh. Once you get rid of these little puffy guys. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna look great. I'm gonna look like a fetus. You are gonna look like a fetus. <laughs> like you're, like you are. I'm gonna uh, look younger than our son. You might. Yeah. You just might. You'll look a lot more like him. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! He's like, please no. Uh, NBA finals start oh, tomorrow. Oh. Yes. But next. Stanley Cup playoffs are soon. Next. 22nd, 122nd U.S. Open starts Next. June 13th. Wimbledon kicks off June Next. 13th. A lot of sports stuff. Ugh, pass. All right, well, that's all I got. Anything else you want to talk about? Now what are we going to talk about? I don't know. Let's talk about, ask me some questions. Thank you, Jody. Jody says we look cute tonight. Hi, Jody. Oh, you want a couple? All right, I'll ask you a couple questions, but I'm not going to. Because I love these questions. I'm going to do random facts. I'm going to wait. I mean, snappy facts. I'm going to wait on that. Oh, get this. This is another story. So you know how you get phone num you get uh, your phone rings and you see a phone number and you're like I don't recognize that I'm gonna let it go to voicemail. Well, unfortunately, this guy did the same thing. He let this number that said U.S. government go to voicemail and it was his friend calling him from the space center. He was calling him from outer space and he let it go to voicemail. I probably would have too if I saw U.S. government. I know. Right? At least he had the greatest voicemail ever. Oh, the yeah, totally. Oh my God. And here's another one. I forgot I had more. Do you want more? Do you like these? Yeah. Eh, he says sort of. <laughs> sort of enthusiastically. Yes, mother. <laughs> Can I please have some more? You know how everybody shows up late for parties for the most part. Yes. Who gets there on time? Not very many people. I would make fun of you if you did. Yeah. What is the right amount of time to be late? 30 minutes. 38 minutes 30? is the rule. I would say 30. an hour to two hours. What? That's rock star late. Well, in my in my age group, you always start a party two hours before you actually want people to get there. So you assume an hour to two hours. So if you want to if you want a party to start at seven, you're going to start it at five. So a party that starts really early is that starts at four because you actually want people to get there at six. <laughs> so you, oh my yeah. god, I'm so confused. If I start a party at five uh, and someone shows up at five thirty, I'm going to look at them like they're the psycho. Brian, party. this involves math. And well, he invites us to one of his parties. We show up like right at four. <laughs> I know. We're here, honey. We're, we're here. We're 
here. Yeah, oh. I'm be like, oh, I'm so glad you came. Is there oh, lunch? Yeah. yeah. Now you have to entertain us for like two hours. He's like, There's God. will be ready. Oh. So if you want to fine tune your lateness, they say 38 minutes is the, that's the golden number. For and a dinner party, though, I would say 38 minutes. As long as you're not the first one to show up, 38 minutes is the sweet spot. Have yeah. you ever been the first person to show up? No. Really? Mm-hmm. It's awkward. I don't, I don't really enjoy that. Unless I'm helping put it on, I would never show up right on time. Yeah. Because somebody's always running out of the bathroom in a towel with their hair. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, wait that, that. Yeah. right out. Yeah. We'll be right out. Um, all right, question. Do you start making the dip? No. I'm a guest. I don't want to make the dip. <laughs> no. All right, I'll just go right to this first question that okay. just popped up. The first one that popped up. Hit me with your best shot, Monty. What's the weirdest thing you've ever tried in bed? What's the weirdest thing you've ever tried in bed? Uh. Like what? Reverse cowgirl? Like, what are we talking? Like that kind of thing? Yeah. I don't know. Like a sex swing or something? No. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of something weird. You mean a sling? Or a, oh, a sex swing? You know, like with the girls that swing and it's open and uh-huh. the underneath part. Like a, like a fisting plan. No! <laughs> I have saying, never done I that. I know, but I'm saying it's similar, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Can what you imagine? Doing? That scares me. Yeah, I don't even want to talk about it. What if terrible. someone lost their watch or like a football <laughs> ring or something? Then you have to go to the emergency room where they have probably seen it all before. I think foresight would dictate that you check before that yeah. happens. Oh I mean, I would probably remove all jewelry. Uh, Weirdest thing in my bed, when I was a teenager, I hated doing the dishes. Oh, like wait a minute. Would get so no, I'm just saying this is uh-huh. not the question quite, but I'm thinking the weirdest thing that has been in my bed, my dad would be so furious. He was like, if you don't do those dishes right now, I'm going to put them in your bed. I'm like, me. So I didn't do them. <laughs> the next day I walk into my room, he put the dirty dishes in my bed and then put the comforter over the dishes. Oh, it's happened I, multiple I times. I thought it was something sexual. It is something sexual, but I'm trying oh. to take it a different direction. Oh. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Don't read my questions ahead of time. I'm not. Okay. Yeah, I think you might have been. No, I wasn't. Um, okay, I already did that one. I already did Don't that ask one. that one. <laughs> <laughs> if you could have 50 pounds of anything, not money, but anything else, what would it be? Diamonds. That's literally what I was going to say, too. First thing that popped my head. Yeah, because then I could sell them and get lots of moolah. That's a ton of money. Yeah. Is it like a, like a single block of it? Because if it's a 50-pound diamond, I'll be rich forever. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. You know what I thought about? Rice. <laughs> now, look. Oh, my God. I ordered... Wish granted. <laughs> <laughs> so, I ordered this... Yeah, I know. I ordered this... This rice, because I can't find Uncle Ben's rice in the orange box, just the regular white rice at the grocery store. It's hard to find. So I ordered it on Amazon. I think I'm so smart, right? Well, this big box arrives at my front door yesterday. <laughs> Here's the bag of rice. It's so big, I can't even fit it's like it. It's like a 50-pound bag of it rice. A, oh, my God. Does it say how many pounds it is? This is my dinner for oh. the next six months. 12-pound yeah. bag. This will be Brian's dinner for the next. Look, I can use exercise. Brian, right, your mother's gonna cook you chicken and vegetables and rice on a nice bed of rice. Ever and yes. ever and ever. After the second week, it's just rice and yeah. Chicken. <laughs> yeah. There might be some chicken in there, but the vegetables, oh, those are long gone. It'll be brown rice and salsa. Yeah, I've got plenty. I have so much rice right now. Now this is hard, and I don't blame you if you can't answer this right away. But what is the greatest lesson in life you've ever learned? Oh, that's easy. Oh. My dad told me never to burn bridges, work very hard, and work very hard. Have you followed that advice? Yes. Have you burned any bridges? Do you think you, you've burned bridges, <laughs> well, dude? <laughs> I think I've burned one. <laughs> you've, yeah, that, you've exploded that one. That one was disintegrated. Like napalm, the whole bridge <laughs> went down. It was awesome. Greatest lesson in life that I've ever learned that it, you know what? I think I know what it is. In all aspects, trust your gut. Trust your gut. Don't go against your gut because it's telling you something. It's something like I should have trusted my gut when it came to my dad. Mm -hmm. And I 
Well, and I trusted the doctors, which you should, but something in my gut said something was wrong, and I didn't. Ugh, I could kick myself in for that. But so yeah, trust your gut because it, it tells you stuff. What about in your young life, son? <clears throat> well, in my very young life, I haven't had a lot of. Uh, let's say very very tough life lessons like that but I would say invest in a good pillow because you'll thank yourself in a couple weeks um, another one is uh, make sure you never leave the fridge open um, that never ends well also <laughs> check for spiders before you poop because once you commit you're in a world no, see of, see that's you know, a smart see yeah. as his father I just taught my son something you did you did mm -hmm. We learn something every day. Yeah. That recently became a life lesson for me. See? As of, you know, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Just, if you see one crawling over Oh, you're going to have a lot of life lessons. <laughs> oh, sorry. Every week you're going to have a life lesson. Most yep. recent is check how heavy the bag of rice is that you're ordering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's true. Oh, my God. See, we raised him right. I know. Mm -hmm. If you could enter a racehorse in the Kentucky Derby, what would you name your horse? I actually had a racehorse. I Galloping you. clitoris. <laughs> All right. I don't think you can say that on these platforms. Oh my God. You are gross. You are gross. Why are you obsessed? With that, I would immediately put all my life savings on that. <laughs> like, no questions. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> saying. How, how could you? Have how could you? Oh, have best God, horse with that name. You are <laughs> disgusting. What would you? What would you name your horse? Well, I had a racehorse for a little while, remember? Uh -huh. Yes. And it was. It was the name wasn't so good. Horse uh, baby doll. Oh, I like this horse better. I know it's <laughs> 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 What color would that horse be, though? Brown. Brown? How about with a black beige? Thing? Or it could be black with white. What? What's black, white, black, white, black, white? I don't know. I know the answer to this. A blonde doing a cartwheel. <laughs> that is not even funny because it doesn't even. Black and white? White? I understand the black. Black? White? It's not black down here. And this isn't white. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. If you Mommy, I'm hungry. Stop it. We have no chicken and no vegetables. If you are asked. I have rice. To, I do have rice. I can make you that. If you were asked to make a top five list of the people you regard as the all time greatest <coughs> Americans, who would rank? Third, and who would rank first? Third. Who is your all-time favorite American? Can it be? Wow. Oh. He just screams America. Plus, he was in, you know, Saving Private Ryan, which makes me think Tom Hanks is just the embodiment of the American flag. Right wow. Right that is George Washington, because I feel like he's almost as cool as Tom Hanks. Yeah, I don't think George Washington was too cool, but he, he has that wooden teeth. He wasn't teeth, in World War II, so... Oh, God, if he had wooden teeth, he's out for me. <laughs> he did. Isn't that the story about him? He chopped down a cherry tree and had wooden teeth? God. <laughs> so they were cherry wood? I don't, oh, no. I don't think those are related, but I think those might also mm. both be true. <laughs> um, who's my most favorite American? God, I, I, hope, I, hope, I hope George Washington wasn't gay, because can you imagine getting a blowjob by that? Wooden teeth. Oh God! All those Eric, you're being very naughty tonight. <laughs> I don't know. I'm being a delight. We find out his age. We've claimed him as our as our son, uh -huh. and you're doing these kind of jokes. <laughs> it's not okay by me. That's where he's, I get my sense of humor. He's 21. Oh my God! It's not like he's 17. If you could invent a pair of glasses that would allow you to see abstract things like the motives behind someone's actions, would you want to see? Yes, I would. Would you really? Yes. Only if, if I could, at the same time, not look at men while I'm wearing them. It's a pretty consistent motive. What do you mean by that? I'm, I'm not getting it, and I probably should be getting Imagine it. Imagine you're looking at a, sea, like a crowd, and yes. you can see in their heads their motive. It's going to be like... You know, for let's say I'm looking at a group of women, it'd be success, love, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. And those would be dicks, 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 dicks. dicks <laughs> you know? think guys just think about their dick all the time? Uh, definitely with. So in terms of motive, yeah. It'd be like, it would just be like boobs, <laughs> boobs, <laughs> boobs. 
boobs. Look good. Imagine look at that. Head is, so I prefer yeah. to look at the women's aspirations because those are you know, yeah. Yeah, we have. Yeah, thank you. Oh my god. Unless, unless you're at like a you know a bar, then it's all dicks, <laughs> dicks. If you could be one of America's most wanted, but wanted because of some great skill you have, what would it be? What would you be wanted for? What was that again? Am I a criminal? Mm -hmm. like, a skill if you were to be America's most wanted, but wanted because of some great skill you have. Oh. America's I, I most wanted. Ugh. I can't say that on the air. <laughs> Blowjob master. <laughs> fallacious or whatever. Fallacious. Toot toot. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> But, I mean, if, if you were the certified best, I mean, that's impressive, regardless of, you know. Of what it is? I, I yeah. guess. If you were the certified I'll take my award. <laughs> I'll take your award. But I mean, all of America wants you for that skill. Imagine how good you'd have to be for all of America True. to want you for <clears throat> that skill. Good so, point. Even all those, you know, straight men out there are turning, you know, 180 because this skill is so incomprehensible. Right. I could teach a class at the learning, Anna. You could. You could. You did try to teach me one time, and then it almost got us kicked off the whole... Off the air. Yes. Because it was so bad. Well, that's that was early I, on. That was early on. It's because I brought a prop in. I know you brought a prop. Well, thank God we weren't videotaping at thank that time. Thank God. That's the only thing that saved us. I want to be the world's best violinist. Because I think that just so looks so cool. I actually used to play the violin. Really? Yeah. You did? Like in a good way. I mean, were you good at it? I played like an orchestra or a symphony. In high school? Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, from age 12 to 16, roughly. I love that. So we That's hard. As, as Brian's parents, we should have known that. I feel deep shame. He has been, he's involved in so many things. I know, he track. really is. I'll chalk it up to just age and forgetfulness. Yeah. And it was a long That's time true. ago. Yes, thank you. I also played the piano, though. I Can played the still? trumpet. Yeah. Here's a piano. Like, Look, we could have formed our own band. A father-son band. <laughs> I played piano the, and the trumpet. I played the trumpet. He played the violin and the piano. At the same time. See? Wow. Good skills. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's good to know. So if you, if you had a date, or, are you, do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. Oh, you're taken. How long have you been dating? Uh, two years. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was after high school. Was she from your high school? No, we met at work. My first job was at Chick-fil-A. Oh my That's god! Which one? Uh, the one in Grossmont. Okay. Is that where area of town you live in? That area? Um, yeah, I live off of Spring Street. So oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. I live in that area. That's where my barber is. Oh my god. That's where our sweet Maggie lives. I know. Wow. <clears throat> I, I don't have any more questions. That's it. We're done. Why not? No, because I'm saving. I'm Little by little. We don't want to, you know, come on. We've been on for a long time. Fine. How long? I don't know, like almost an hour. Oh my god. 59 yeah. minutes. 59 yeah. minutes. Oh, look at that. I know. Anyway, I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you guys for listening. We appreciate it so much. And uh, make sure that you go on to our YouTube and look at how it's really done. Because we, we, you know, we're trying to be big time and look professional. So that, and subscribe while you're at it because. It makes us feel really cool because now we have like 702 subscribers. We're kind of like Kelly and Ryan. I know, right? <laughs> but on YouTube. I know, we're so huge on YouTube. And we are. I'm going to get shirts made for us that say we're huge on YouTube. Oh, okay. With our face and our son. Oh, our son will be on We'll YouTube. put our face on the front and our son on the back okay, with his director's hat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with his little director. See? All right. Uh, I think that's it, really. Um, I guess just go to our Instagram and our Facebook, go to our bio, and on there you'll find the link that is has all of our links, including our little Amazon store, and I'll put the things I recently bought on there too, and it has our YouTube link, and um, has our Psychics link, all that stuff. And remember to subscribe or Laura will burn me. No, I won't do yeah, that. Yeah, you will. I will berate you. She'll use the dog clippers. She will. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm bringing them out next time. Next show, I'm um, bringing them out. Yeah. We'll do it. I can clip your chest hair. <laughs> no. I can trim it down. No. It might need it. It doesn't need it. It it's comes good. with little scissors and the clippers and the brush and everything. I do not need manscaping done by my wife. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. With that, oh, Brian, will you lock out with us? <clears throat> you say it second, and then he says it third, hopefully. You'll see.
You'll just see. Follow I'll what just, I just don't you say. Just don't turn off the the mic. Like yes. Wait till he says it. That was funny. <laughs> that was hilarious. Um. Okay. Thank you. Oh, bye, Matt. You're awesome. Bye, bye Matt. Gail. You're awesome. Bye, Gail. Okay. With that, love your podcast. Love your podcast. I am having so much fun tonight. I don't want to walk out. Okay, then you oh, go ahead uh-oh, and come up with God. Please don't her her eyes. Great. Did you see how big her eyes got? I, know, I got excited. Like, oh, look at that rice cooker right there, Kane. I know. It's just screaming for you to put a bunch of rice in it. It already has rice in it. Oh. I made it for Evan tonight. Oh, well, look at you. You're Please, just look. Brian, have you met your sister Evan I yet? Go, oh. I can go to sleep early. I have to wake up at 4.30 every morning. Come on. I know. I just... I know you don't want to go, but let's I save your energy so much. for next week. I'm going to need it. I know you're going to need it. We're back to Mondays again. Oh, we are? Yeah. Both shows on Monday? We're going to try. We are? Yeah. Are you going to get doll eyes? Yes. Oh, perfect. We're we're I hope. might that's yawn. Goal. I might yawn. But that's okay. I'm used to that. You are? I'm going to start yawning right now. <laughs> I See? I haven't that. seen my daughter in like two but days. She, but she's not home yet. Yes, yeah, she is here. Oh, she is? Yes. Where is she? Upstairs in her room, but she was at Disneyland at that, like, graduate thing. Oh, grad night? Yes. Oh. All night. She got home at, like, 4.30 this morning. Oh, my God. So, let me be with my daughter. Why Our are you daughter. depriving me of the daughter? Our time? daughter. She needs some rice. She does. So, they cook her some rice. Look yeah. at me. I need rice. All right. Fine. Love your podcast. Oh, love you, my sweet babies. <laughs> Bye. Bye, you guys. Bye.